This is where angry parents are accusing the school board of trying to indoctrinate students with controversial curriculum on race and American history. It's called critical race theory. But the board insists it's all trying to do is just make sure that every student and race and background are welcomed and included. But the divide is very sharp. Here's John Sherrick. An overflow crowd, parents giving Forsyth County School Board members an earful. If you have materials that you're providing where it says if you were born a white male, you were born an oppressor, you are abusing our children. One speaker after another accused board members of introducing so-called critical race theory about whites, blacks, and U.S. history into the classrooms. Parents saying that CRT is now indoctrinating students disguised in the school system's initiatives on diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI. The DEI program is a Trojan horse that will bring in a slippery slope. A slippery slope that will ultimately end in critical race theory, white repentance, and the McDonaldization of America's students. Please get back to just teaching our children math, science, factual history, equity of opportunity, and teaching them how to think and not what to think. But other parents and some students said that's not what's going on in the classrooms at all. They urged the board members to expand the DEI policies. Um, this isn't critical race theory. This is diversity inclusion. This is the golden rule, do unto others. What could be the motivation for going against diversity and inclusion? We should make sure every child feels included. I don't know how or why this would be debated. You see, this plan does not yell, you are different. It yells, you are no different. A board spokesman says it's a nationwide controversy. People mistaking diversity, equity, and inclusion policies for critical race theory, a theory she insists the board has no intention of being part of the curriculum.